Eh, pa, eh. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the cargo show. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a beautiful Wednesday day and I have no clear agenda. I just want to clarify a few things for the channel, but this lady is super filthy. So we're going to go wash it and then chat about a few things. Super nice weather and my thermometer says 52 degrees out. I'm just going to roll the windows down and enjoy the weather. We're gonna be leaving the Coca-Cola today for a healthier option. We're going with water. Okay, at least the car is nice and clean. Uh, questionable parking job but I see other cars parked on the sidewalk so I guess it should be fine uh, it finally happened it hasn't been clean over a month and you if you could call it clean because the automatic car wash doesn't do a fantastic job but uh, we are right here we're gonna stop by and say hi to my mechanic uh, and then uh, I gotta talk about three things uh, one of them is uh, polishing the headlights let's go around and take a look at them there we go they're a bit foggy and foggy, pardon the noise, but uh, BMW 5 Series is going around. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is the Bi-Xenon lights, and that's on the front again, but I'm not going to go and look at it because you already saw the little headlights. Um, the Xenon lights, sorry, not Bi-Xenon lights. Uh, and third thing is the backup camera, and that's coming up too. All right, let's go and say hi to the all right, race car drivers. Notice the W124 body class down here covered by a lot of stuff. The car is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, I like those. You know, in the future when I get a few extra bucks, I'm not going to look for an E500 obviously because they're expensive, but one of these is a great addition to the cargo's fleet. And boom, just like that, we're in Astoria Park in Queens, New York. I love this park because there is the Hell's Gate Bridge up here and there is the Triborough Bridge on the other side. Uh, there, right over East River and it's beautiful. I like spending time here. Anyway, let's get the few things that we were supposed to talk about out of the way. And we're going to start with the headlights. Clearing and defogging the headlights sounds like a fantastic idea. Thank you for it. I am all for it. Question there is, should I do it myself and get one of those kits or the simple way with some paper and sealant? Or should I give it to a professional? Because I'm not sure. Well, I probably will play with my headlights myself. You know, that is not a big issue and I can always replace them if, them, if I uh, mess them up. Second one, the xenon lights. The xenon lights, I'm a little scared of first because of the cheap ones, you know, combusting and all that crap. Uh, I am researching, uh, I am researching the xenon lights, high intensity discharge lights, uh, and those kits online. The good ones are good, the bad ones are bad. Of course, I'm gonna go for a good one. Uh, my only beef with that is that I don't really like. HIDs. To tell you the truth, the only good thing about them is they look cool. Uh, what I don't like about them is they blind people and I hate being blinded by uh, those blue or white lights for whatever reason whoever puts them on their cars. Uh, second thing that you may say it's a positive, you know, you get a lot more light. Well, I have good vision. I don't need that. But since you guys suggested that I am actually researching them. Uh, that's that with the headlights. Now the backup camera situation. Now the backup camera I'm not really sure I want to do simply because you gotta drill holes in the trunk for most of them. Uh, 
some of them don't connect to the head unit some of them connect to the head unit but it's not really the greatest thing ever um, I don't need a backup camera because I can park uh, that's another thing uh, but I'll leave the options open and if uh, I think it's called Pearl the one that snaps onto the license plate if they ever get a bit cheaper or I encounter one for a lot less money than they are now I'll definitely get one as they are $400 now can't afford them so not a definite not a definitive not on the backup camera but really I have no need for it and we know how technical I am and if I install it and sh you know with all that drilling passing wires to the head unit uh, we have history of things up uh, star mainly so that's out of the way I'm gonna spend a few minutes in the park then I'm gonna go have a what they say a food vlog I think I forgot you guys. All right, in order to get the food log the right way, I need one ingredient that I actually don't have at home. And no, we are not in the wrong aisle. We need radishes. Are you excited? Now, I'm going to make the assumption that you guys didn't expect this when I said a food vlog. But hey, we gotta eat healthy, right? If you did enjoy this uh, video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more videos to come. You know you want it. Hit the subscribe button, bell button if you so desire. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!